in this video we're going to explore how we can create a hover effect here but then specifically on one single bar here so for example here i want to click on this you see these buttons here but if i click on blue it will only highlight a specific item here and if i click on yellow it will do the same here in a green purple orange and then in red as well but if you hover here you can see now it highlights the, both of them so let's start to explore how to do this in this video we're going to focus on highlighting data points with the set active elements in chart yes and this is a quite useful one as well if you want to trigger or basically using the uh, button to highlight a bar or a data point without hovering on it but giving the hover effect based on the click all right so let's start and explore how to use this so first thing what we want to do here is we want to go to the chartjs3.com and just go to getting started and in here you'll find a nice chunk of code we're going to use copy this code and once you copy this code make sure you understand it if you want to understand it just watch this video here and then what we're going to do in here is just paste this in here so once i paste this in here i'm going to cut this out and move the title in here and then just move this up so once i have that refresh and now i have my code here so what i want to do eventually is here to make sure that there's a background color on hoover and right now there is and you can see the tooltip as well we want to do it with a button we want to make sure that the background color will be very clear the moment we hoover right now it just darkens slightly but as you can see it's hard to notice and you only notice the color change because of the tooltip here but if you really look at it here right now it's lighter now it's darker the difference is minimal so what i'm going to do in here is i'm going to add up here a hoover border color or let me double check the official term for that you go to the chart type here bar bar chart and then here hoover border color if i'm not mistaken the hoover background color that's the one sorry i'm going to grab this i'm going to give it a proper border color here and the border color will be exactly same or sorry the, a proper hoover background color so if we hoover over it the background color changes more visible so we're going to copy the border color design here and just put it in here because this is a very clear uh, color to distinguish so let's save that make sure you put a comma here refresh and now if you hoover over it, you can see now it becomes very nicely dark blue or a solid color all right so this is easy for us to make it visible the next thing we want to do is we want to put in some buttons the buttons will be eventually connected that we create this hoover effect without the tooltip itself it will only change the color here in the background so that's what we're going to do here so we're going to create here a div class and this class will be called chart well, sorry button box very straightforward but we won't give it any css no needed for this it's just to be organized and then what we say here is button once we put in here the button then we're going to say here we have to duplicate this five more times but i need to put in here a function so i'm going to say you on click and i will give the function a very gener gener uh, gener i'm sorry generic name that's a really tough tough one to pronounce sorry about that but giving it a generic name main reason for this is just because i have no no real name for it so i'm just called update chart we just say update chart instead of generic name and i'm not sure if that's even the right pronunciation it should be generic if i'm not mistaken however that's all right so here we're going to say red i'm going to copy this and what i will do is i will multiply this well basically until we have six buttons here and i will give the colors will be equal to what we have here here below so this will be blue yellow green purple and orange all right and these numbers because these are directly related to the index number so they're basically index zero is red one two three four and five all right so we have this here but of course nothing happens with this there's no function being triggered yet because we didn't create the function yet update chart so i'm going to create right now here and i will say your function update chart and here we already give it the number so we already give it the arguments but now what they want to grab is the parameter name for this so this is the number name number 
is the parameter and this is the argument that extracts that number all right so we extract that number and then here if we do console log you will see here nicely the number value that we do the one we press on it so if i save this refresh open the developer tab you can see here now red zero one one two three four five etc etc so now what we're going to do here is we have everything set up but for now what we need to go here is to go to the advanced part here is in the developer section and click on the api sub menu once you're on the api sub menu we're going to search for this basically the set active elements so we can copy this we can just search for that if we jump immediately here now it's somewhere at the bottom of the page as you can see here it's almost here down at the bottom and here you can see this is what we need so i'm going to copy all this all right copy that and the moment i copy that i go down here and i'm going to insert it into our our created function so what we need to do here is still do some adjustments we have this set active here what we need to do more of course is to create here the update part so we say here my chart dot update and of course what we need to do here is change the name we can remove this one here and change this part as well this here should be matched with the id name here which is basically this one here refers to the canvas so if i save this now and refresh we should see something there we are all right so we get everything but you can see we only get Whatever we click on, we only get this one here. Why do we have it? Well, we have this set here on a solid number. So let's change that and make this a, a parameter. So we grab the argument of the button that we select. So if I save this now, refresh, red becomes solid, blue becomes solid, etc., etc. There we are. And if we hover over it here, it changes and it removes the item as well. This, sadly enough, doesn't create a toggle effect so that's not possible with this because it will just make it only solid one time here so it just triggers the hoover effect and but the moment you hoover somewhere else it will eventually change as well so this is a way how you can make a bit more unique items because with this you could for example highlight and show some extra information here with those buttons that would that might be very fun like for example a new diff showing extra info related to this specific value and this is uh, quite useful because you can also control here your data set as well if you want to change this as well with extra buttons multiple data sets you work with this one here so what we could do is for example we duplicate this once we duplicate this we put in here a comma save this and then here instead of data set zero we're now doing a data set one meaning that we will highlight this one here right now we highlight both but if we select this we only highlight this single bar here beautiful thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in chart.js check out in the description box the link directing to my chart.js course where you can learn everything about chart.js and finally of course make sure you subscribe to my channel